So if I take my average of these four trials using the average function, um, I don't need to retype that math into every cell in order to take the average for every solution. Instead, I can select the equation, the cell that I have the equation in. You can see what the equation is up here in the edit box. And you can, you'll see my cursor changes from a, an arrow to a plus sign when it's on the corner of the lower right-hand corner of the box. I can click and drag that down. And what it does is it changes the referencing, okay, the reference, so that it is now referencing one lower, all of the values that are one row lower, okay? So instead of being C10 to F10, I'm now at C11 to F11. And I can do the next one C12 to F12. So when you copy down an equation, all of the cells that are being referenced are going to move depending on how you moved the, the equation. So if I copy the equation down one cell, then all the cells that are being referenced move down one cell. This will even work if I move this down into the second table. So if I copy this equation and paste it down here, it will now be referencing these four cells that are in that same row. Now it doesn't really matter that there's nothing here. It won't average in a zero. It will only average in the cells that have values in them. Then you can also copy this down and now you have your average values for all of your trials, your standard solutions and your sample solutions.